guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing some more of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the last episode we destroyed a griffin so easily. It was great and this episode we're carrying on with the main storyline. Before we get started I just want to give a quick shout out to Patreon of the day, Shock Ratha. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. Without you and your support I couldn't be doing what I do. You are part of the core community on this channel so thank you so much and let's get into the gameplay guys. Mwah. Okay guys this is exactly where we ended off. We need to collect our reward from the Nilf Guardians. So let's That's quickly it, go see them and uh, yeah, collect our reward. Here we go. Right. Give me my reward, please, for being a good witcher. What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make Ooh. it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Uh, no more Captain Nice Guy? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! A moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. I killed the griffin. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time, under my nose. Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Some dialogues that demand you make a quick decision. Choose your reply before time runs out. Fuck it, I'm taking the coin. Thanks, bitch. Why well, not take it? He's rich as fuck. If he was poor. Oh. Where's that noise coming from? Oh. Right, the Petty White Orchard with Vesemir. Okay. So I think that means we need to go find Vesemir. Can I help him? Stop! Oh no! That's way more than 15! Oh, okay, right. Well, we can't help him, I don't think. So, uh, let's go ahead to leave my orchard with Vesemir. Oh, Vesemir! Hello, cat! Meow, meow! Is it me? What the fuck? Oh, here he is. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. Do we ever, though? Not really know for staying out of it, to be honest. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Tamerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. God smack her. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my son attending to the birth, and you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Ah! 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 
we gonna step in? Let me be. Oh, here we go, boys. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say which is still youngins. That's true. Yep, eat them as a snack. What the emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. <laughs> oh, you idiots! Back down now. Oh, these idiots! Oh. Excuse him, what? Oh, damn, that chair's in the way. Oh, what's happened here? It just suddenly stopped. I was, in the, I was in the middle of killing someone and it was like, no, no. Aha. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. I'm just trying to help. Ew. Brawl, we didn't start it. Yennefer! Yennefer! Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine Ooh. you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. What's the rush? Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Hmm, what did he offer you, though? Must have been a damn good offer, then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for. And even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. God, she is so pretty. Bye, Vesemir.
Knowing you, it was probably filthy. <laughs> God damn it! Just the beginning. But then. But then. Uh... Right now! tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Hmm. What's going on here, then? This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. One day later, Vizima. Can you not bathe yourself, man? Jesus Christ. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. <laughs> then you should have just said chair. Like a that normal man, person. Shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Something wrong with my beard? What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Ew. Been a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. This beard isn't even that long. Sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. The wild hunt killed them. Duh! The wild hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war, the peasantry bubbles about. Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. 
Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. What are you looking at, boy? My abs. I don't blame you. <laughs> if I had abs like that in real life, I would just wear a crop top all the time. <laughs> if the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust. Unfortunately, I don't. Ooh, do I get to pick? Where's my clothes, though? Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. Okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll allow will that. Turn to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Ooh. Okay, get dressed and talk to the chamberlain. Which one shall I go for? Mm, that one looks a bit meh. I don't like the collar on that one. You know what? Are the last two the same? No, they're not. I like this one. Alright, let's put these... Put these on, shall we? Armor. Ooh, look at me! I look swag! Hello. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Is that right? A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough when in Novgorod. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose. No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. <sighs> sure. We'll From we'll away. like what's the word? I can't think of the word now. Oh, fuck. Leg extended. What's the word? Hand flat. Head down. Humor them. We'll humor them. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh, shit. Was it this one? I can't, <laughs> I can't hmm. remember. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Hey, we did it. Woo, okay. Let's follow the Chamberlain. Chamberlain? Chamberlain? The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your archman, Nicosinsi. Mm. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Yes, sir. Uh. Bow. Bow. Just do it. Humor them. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen wat kan verwoord. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in Oh, danger. Siri! The wild hunt pursues I literally her. remember nothing about this game! <laughs> you will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri... left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? to discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. 
I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that, after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. To my wifey, let's go. Okay. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. <laughs> not bother. <laughs> Am I gonna want to kill them? Probably. I do love this game. I forgot how much I love this game. I'm so excited to be playing it again. Honestly, I think we're gonna be double uploading this game at some days. And I know you guys have said it's a really long series, and I know this. And it'll probably be on the channel for a few months. <laughs> but I think it's going to be worth it. It's going to be such a long journey, especially for those who have never seen it before. It'll be so awesome, and I'm so jealous it's your first time experiencing it, experiencing it as well. Like, I think Witcher 3 is one of the games I wish I could go back and have no memory of it at all. Although, to be honest, it seems like I don't. <laughs> you know, I don't remember most of this game. My memory is really bad, like, I can barely remember what happened last week, let alone three years ago. And I found a photo on my Instagram of where I had bought the game as well. The gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay. Yennefer. Yes. Then transcribe. The true authority where is she? Is not the city oh wait, we follow the little guilt. white dots, don't we? But the church of the eternal fire. Okay, well you do your chatting. Criminal under oh, we can run. Oh. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. <sighs> Dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. <laughs> One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Boring. <laughs> now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. Yeah, what do they want from Ciri? The wild Hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> I know as much I as I love you the sarcasm in this game. It must be about her blood. 
her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. I remember Triss! Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Ooh, there's a bit of drama going Let's on here. Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. So did he cheat on Yennefer of Triss? Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, Talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I Aww. should be waiting. Okay, retrieve your equipment from the Chamberlain, which we will do. Yeah, I think Triss is actually pretty bang as well, not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, sir, I need my stuff. I need to get How going. I serve the gentleman by returning my things. Did he pull my asshole? And clothes. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Ah, oh, thank mm. you. Thanks, Bunches. It's a weird thing. Thanks, the Bunches. He's not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound as soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Woo! Quest update, Imperial audience. Okay, we need to talk to Vel. Oh, I love that sound. Oh! I'll travel to Vel and not talk to Vel. Okay, right. Well, then, we need to go out the front gates. Um. Okay. Okay, okay. Right, Hanged Man's Tree. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Velen, North End, Temeria, five days later. Oh, this place seems lovely! <laughs> oh, so homely, so welcoming. Okay. 
go to the inn at the crossroads. Ah, oh, thank you for purchasing the Heart of Stone expansion. Your currently track quest has been changed to the first quest of Hearts of Stone. I re only recommend starting at character level is at least 30. Well, um, I probably shouldn't be doing that one then. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not level 30. Oh wait, that's fine. So that's the first one. So we need to go to the inn at the crossroads. Okay. Right, let's go do that. Ooh. While playing at the Heart of Stone expansion, you can encounter a rune right marked by the icon on your map. These new craftsmen, the only of his kind, come from a far off land and can use his arcane knowledge to considerably improve your equipment. Seek him out and see for yourself. Slower. Welcome to the Blood and Wine expansion. In this mode, all the quests of the main storyline are still available to you. If you begin playing quests from Blood and Wine, you must first complete a Poet Under Pressure quest. Okay. Right, that's a lot of information there, but we don't need come to on. do any of it yet. So, we just gotta run on through to the inn! What's going on here? Get out of here! Back off, Rowder. Oh. Is he okay? <laughs> Unbind me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Oh, fuck it. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost but sure you can get the best of die. us. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Woo! 25 experience points. Okay, right. Back, <laughs> back to the main mission. That's a cheeky little side, tiny side mission there. But I like ones which are small like that. You can do there and then. You don't sort of have to go off path to um to carry on with the side mission and we need to get experience points as we go I think I'll still be doing side quests I just don't know if I'll be recording them all because obviously need to level up this game can be a bit grindy at times so oh sorry horso I'm not very good with the steering in this game but um yeah let me know if there's any specific side quest you want me to do Slow. and I will try and write them down and make sure to do them at some point Right, into the inn we go. Ask about the agent called Hendrik at the end of the crossroads, okay. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What you want with him? Wanna talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. That's not a bottle. <laughs> Oh God! What's going on here? You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? Inkeep, vodka. Who's this? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? To kill double the people, obviously. Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking death. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Oh, these people never learn. Don't fucking cross a witcher. I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. Only got one prick though. Yeah. <laughs> wondering about that too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. 
freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can A bench. It. Brilliant. We'll have a good bench. I was tempted to kill them. The I'm trying to be a good lad here, you know. Like you so... This is the bench? Ah, oh, thank you. How do I... How do I sit down? Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's <laughs> men don't like strangers. Aye, but he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Okay, look at the age of Hendrik in the village of Heatherton. Oh, God, that's quite far away. I'm already getting to 40 minutes. Ah! It's very hard to time these episodes because there's never really a good place to end it. And. Oh, here's my horse. Hello, Roach. There's never really a good place to end it. And I want to make them have enough content, but not too long so you guys struggle to watching it. But also, I don't have a, like, ridiculous amount of episodes. So it's very hard to judge at the moment. But we'll go speak to Hendrik. And then we'll probably end the episode there. Air yeah, strange. Like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Not gonna lie, the mist is pretty strange. It's like snowy. Ah, uh, that stench. Uh oh! oh. Here we go! Oh, 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 oh. Get away, rabbit doggies! My health isn't the best, not gonna lie. Whoopsie! John, leave me be, whoever you is. Get away! <laughs> Just falls down. <laughs> Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. Sounds 
Savage. Great. Great. <laughs> Here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> okay, well, Hendrick's been stolen. And we need to find him. Oh, I just want to be dead in the hut. Hendrick! Ah, uh, shit. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Ooh. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. I can feel myself getting carried away right now. Oops, loot. Like, oh, it's gonna be something under the rug. But I can feel myself, I just wanna keep playing. This is an episode, so <laughs> sorry guys, that's just gonna be a bit longer. There's a draft. <laughs> be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Ooh, surprise! What's down in here? Missing. Tamara string a daughter of the Bloody Baron, presume kidnapped, hearty for whoever finds it or brings her in. Ooh, chest! Oh, nice! Locked on display, almost. Lost his mind, or... Mm. So something's been looted down here? Aha! Interesting. So, um... What is in here? Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Ooh, okay, find the witch and go to the Baron's castle. But unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to end that episode there. But I'm so excited to play the next part already. If you did enjoy it, remember to smash that like button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Just run away with my darling.